to Rose out of Apex, North Carolina, line for Republicans. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for taking my call. Yes, I am watching the kangaroo court about January 6th, but keep this in mind. Our election was clearly rigged to start this new world order for every country has to be on board, say the world bankers. As for Adam Schiff and Jamie Raskin, they both knew before they ever walked up to that podium that Hillary Clinton paid for the fake dossier. They colluded with a lie. A recent C-SPAN viewer called their hotline to voice her displeasure with what she called the kangaroo court of the January 6th commission and trial. Uh, of course, you know, C-SPAN, <laughs> which is great. I think it's nice that they differentiate between the political leanings of the callers, right? So this woman called the Republican hotline. And it's nice because it lets you delineate between the different sides of the discourse. And of course, this lady... She's giving you the greatest hits. January 6th was a sham. Um, she's even got some dossier conspiracy sprinkled in. And last but not least, she called Joe Biden the man currently occupying the White House or the man we think is occupying the White House. Because according to this woman, the person you see on your TV every three days is a doppelganger. The guy playing Biden right now is clearly a doppelganger. I find this line of thinking very interesting for just a couple of reasons. First of which being that, like, this would actually be a perfect uh, alibi for all the libs who told us that things were going to be rosy and great the second we voted out Donald Trump and we got the great Democrat Joe Biden in. Before Russia attacked... We made sure Russia had javelins and other weapons to strengthen the defenses so Ukraine was ready for whatever happened. And Corn Pop was a bad dude. And he ran a bunch of bad boys. Um, it would be convenient for them to be able to say, look, this, this Sleepy Joe guy, we don't know. This has to be a doppelganger because the Joe we know was going to fix everything. Um, no, but in all seriousness, the reason why I find this interesting is that I think there is a difference between the discourse on the sides. Um, I might think that Mitch McConnell is a weasel and he's very self-interested and can give a fuck about his actual constituency and also just, you know, only cares about the moneyed class and shoveling money all the way back at the top. That belief doesn't require for me to think all kinds of other ridiculous things about Mitch McConnell like he's boiling babies in his basement and drinking them for tea because he's some kind of wicked witch from Kentucky like I, I don't need to believe those things to think Mitch McConnell is toxic and horrible for our democracy and horrible for the American citizenry and is a disaster that he's one of the most powerful men in Washington, right? Like, I don't need to hold those two beliefs at the same time. Whereas on the other side, you notice that the discourse is just so poisonous that it's not enough that Hillary Clinton is just a greedy ass corporatist and is another self-interested person who gives a f about, you know, getting anything done for the public. She also has to be running a child sex ring out of a damn pizza store in Washington, right? Like, it's not enough that the Democrats have terrible policy. It's that, you know, they have to be groomers and a, a cabal of people who want to hurt children. Clintons are very evil. Supposedly, they torture these kids. It gets their adrenaline flowing in their body. Mm -hmm. Then they take that out of their adren adrenal glands yeah. and then they drink their blood or that that out of there i've heard about things like yeah. that and to me it just you know it just speaks to the discourse like i'm not somebody who likes to demonize people on the right uh the people who energize the republican party i do think they're getting a very obscured view of how this country is working and operating from their sources of media and i think if you have an obscured view you're going to end up with, you know, some some out of whack views on how things are going here in this country. And I know th people might think I'm being a little bit 
too charitable to these people, but I don't think they're like specially evil human beings. There's no other way to explain how somebody could have this level of deluded of views. Like Joe Biden's a doppelganger. I mean, come on. It's just a guy who's been a corporate dem his whole life, operating as every other corporate dem before him has. I, I don't think he needs to be some type of clone or alien or doppelganger to do exactly what establishment Democrats tend to do when they're in his position.